Hey there, so course number four, we are going to put some order in our actions. Uh, so me, I use Trello, for example, to uh, put some actions next to my goals. So I'm going to go here in my document. You can pretty much go in your Microsoft Word. Um, as you see here, I love to put some emojis over my actions. It just helps me to uh, accomplish them and to remind myself of them because I look at this list every day right and that's one of the tips we will talk about we're not doing this it's not a one time and we're done thing we're really gonna use this list every day um, so go back to the document where you wrote your three yearly goals and you wrote all the actions uh, next to each of the goals uh, go there and you will find basically all your actions what we will do since you've been like brainstorming and writing uh, actions which you aren't sure if they're going to work or not or if they're good or not, now's the time to evaluate them. So to, I think I'm guessing that all of them are pretty much worth something. So we're all going to keep them, but it may happen that like one action is very bad and doesn't uh, yield to anything good. So what we're going to do is that we're just going to delete it but all of your actions should pretty much uh, be good to help you accomplish your goal so what you're going to do is prioritize them so for example uh, me if i go in my trello here uh, trello is a free tool by the way which anyone can use to organize their day which i highly recommend uh, for my 100,000 k per month goal so this was my first action so I understand that cash can solve most of my roadblocks, thus I will prioritize uh, short-term sales and monthly recurring revenue 80-20 rule. So that's very relevant, so we're going to keep it on top. Um, here, what do we have here? So we have my Dream 100, which is a list of people I want to work on, pretty important. Uh, get one paying coaching client for this month, so also important, I'm going to keep it in number two. Um, so when having money i will keep it so basically when i have more incomes coming in i will try to keep that's more important than my dream 100 right now when i be zen with my money which also helps me accomplish my goal number two this year which is to be zen so just go and play around and assign some kind of uh, priority to the goals which you think are very important so this reminder here is 9.5 on 10. you can even put a grade uh, to see like which one is the most important this one here uh, is also very important it will help you with many other things not only financially but uh, to get experience and stuff so just go ahead classify your goal um, and do that for each of your three goals so here I have spirituality I would do pretty much the same thing right so go ahead uh, take your goals and put them in priority so in a list and see which one comes the first grade them put a grade of importance and ask yourself uh, how uh, this action will help me to uh, accomplish my yearly goal on what level do you think and you can base that answer on experience on uh, online answer which you can find on many sites such as Quora or other users their experience uh, that they got with that action as their goal so use all those resources and take a decision prioritize which action uh, must come first for this month all right so we'll talk uh, to one another to the next training uh, which is about pretty much setting up your daily calendar all right talk to you later